Hello and welcome back to this continuation of the series that we have here on our tips and tricks for fabrication parts in Revit 2017. So the last video that I created was talking about how we could draw ductwork whether it's flat on the top or on the side. This next video is answering the question of what's the best way to add insulation to the ductwork. So there's a couple of ways that we can do this. As we place it we can add that um, we can do it after the fact, or we can predefine insulation specifications on our ductwork where we don't even have to modify anything. It just kind of appears. So let's let's explore those capabilities here, and um, we'll, uh, we'll we'll kind of together we'll learn how to do this. So as you can see, I've got some fabrication parts already in this model, and I may want to add some insulation. So I'll go ahead and select this this particular run, and um, I'll just go ahead and grab all these guys and in the properties you see that we've got the insulation specification and it's currently turned off right so I can turn that on to you know the ductwork with two inch uh, with lagging two inch and what that does is it adds that insulation layer around the existing um, of course around the existing ductwork and the cool thing about this is if I go to use a straight okay um, this straight if I look at the insulation specification as I'm adding this, it's currently turned off. Now I can turn it on if I want, but um, I'll go ahead and connect it to um, maybe to this other end back here. And you'll see that, you know, it just connected without adding any additional ductwork or insulation. However, when I go to add ductwork to something that already has insulation defined to it, It'll automatically recognize that, it'll see that, and then it'll place that insulation around it. It kind of follows, uh, it follows that, that, that capability there. Alright, so that's one method, okay? Now the next method is, as you place it, you could just turn that insulation specification, you can turn it on, and make a new duct run. So that's the second method. You can just do it as you start it, or as you, uh, um, as you uh, connect to the other uh, ductwork. And then the third method is that you have to modify the service. You have to mod modify the service at the, uh, at the service level. And there's, there's no way that we can do that within the Revit environment. Unfortunately, Revit doesn't have the capability to modify services or to create new components for ITMs and new parts. That still has to be done in our fabrication products. So let me launch um, fabrication. You know what? Let me launch Camduct. Let me launch Camduct 2017. Uh, here's Camduct 2017. Let's go ahead and launch that. And the number one rule here is you just want to make sure that you jive with the same exact. Um, with the same exact content pack and earlier in the previous video you saw that I was using um, that's that specific contact pack content pack so let's go look and see what we're using in the Revit environment I can go look at the settings and the content configuration that I'm looking at here is Imperial content version 3.04 right so that's where I'm getting the, this information and back in Revit, uh, in fact, in Camduct, what I'll do is I'll open that same Imperial Content version, version 3.04, and then I'll create a new job based off of that con content configuration. Now, from the quick takeoff, I can go look at um, several things here. I can see that I've got the supply error, which is exactly the same thing that I'm dealing with um, in uh, in Revit. What I want to look at specifically is the supplier service. I can go edit the service. And let me expand this. And what you will notice here is that my insulation specification for supply air is not set. Okay. What I want to do is maybe I want to show you how we can by default have that come on every time I insert instead of it instead of it having off. So let's let's go to lagging two inches and then I'll hit OK. So what I just did is I affected the database. I affected the database, and if I go open up Fabrication Cat MEP, I'm gonna have insulation on all my, uh, on all these fittings for supply air. And if I go back to Revit, let's go back to Revit now. 
If I go back to Revit, um, right now I have a snapshot loaded uh, into, into my fabrication parts. It's just a snapshot of that configuration. So that snapshot happened earlier today when I first put that uh, into the, into the uh, model here. So you can see that I've got Imperial Content version 3.0, uh, 4, and then in the services, they're grayed out. And so are the services that are currently loaded in my model. They're also grayed out. So what I have to do is I have to reload the configuration, and it's going to look at the current configuration that I just modified in Camduct, and it's going to give me all of those options. Okay, so I'll hit OK here, and then I'll bring in a straight. Now remember the last time I did that, it was brought in with um, the installation specification set to off. Okay, and now I can see that the installation specification uh, is ductwork lagging two inch. Right, so that's one way that we can do that. Um, let me do that one more time. Let's go back to Camduct. And this time I'm going to modify the service so that it has acoustical lining. Right, so now it's acoustical acoustic liner, one inch. And I hit OK. And that com when I hit OK, that commits the change to the database just by hitting OK. So let's switch back to Revit. And I'll go to the settings, and I'll reload the configuration. And this only takes seconds, guys. It doesn't even take that long. Once I see that they go ghosted to black, solid black, I know that it's done. So I've got the new configuration. If I hit the straight button and I bring that in, I'm looking at what it says for my installation specification, and it says acoustical liner. And um, I think that's the, the most effective way to, uh, to go ahead and bring in, for instance, the insulation. So there's several options I've shown you how to, how to use there. Um, you feel free to experiment with all of those options, whether you do it as you're laying it out, whether you do it as you're uh, drawing and just connecting to you know ductwork that already has that defined. That's the second method. Um, just, it'll just automatically understand what's in there. Or you know, modify the service so that you get that information in um, without any any problems by default, right? So you have those different options, guys. Please feel free to explore all those options, and um, uh, that concludes this particular tips and tricks video on fabrication parts for Revit 2017. Stay tuned for our next video. We'll see you there.